POCO M5 Review The POCO M4S is a solid affordable smartphone that has a 5.2-inch display, and a 3000 mAh capacity, and an 8MP front-facing camera. It comes with Android 7.0 Nougat out of the box. The POCO comes in three colors, red, blue, and white. It had an attractive appearance, featuring a leather look back and a camera bar spanning the rear of the device. This gave the handset a more classy feel, despite its low cost. Since the back is a texture like leather, never experienced any issues with fingerprints or smears, and it felt slightly durable to the touch compared to normal, cheap feeling plastic. It was also much lighter than some previous iPhones, making it easier to hold and operate with just one handed. It has a USB-C charging port and an audio output port, neither of which are common on smartphones today. However, they're probably more likely to be found here than elsewhere. The power key also acts as a fingerprint reader, which is easier to use than the phone's facial recognition feature. You can also customize the power key so that it turns on certain functions, like the camera or Google Assistant, making navigation through the phone more intuitive. On the front of this phone, there is a 6-inch screen with a Full HD Plus panel and an aspect ratio of 19 to 9. It comes with a 13MP rear camera and an 8MP selfie shooter. The battery capacity of this smartphone is 4100 mAh. It runs on the Android 7.1 Nougat operating system out of the box and can be upgraded to Android Oreo. The POCO M6 has a triple lens system, including a 50MP main lens, an 8MP macro lens, and a 5MP depth sensor. Some of the new camera modes include a night scene, portrait, and pro modes. For the price, the camera was impressive. The colors were vivid and it could capture a great deal of detail, especially when turned on high dynamic range. As for the camera itself, it performed quite well in most situations. It captured images with good detail and color accuracy, but sometimes it did not perform as well when capturing shots in low light conditions. Low light photos weren't bad but didn't think they were good enough for a smartphone. Looking at the photos taken by the front-facing cameras, thought they were good enough for social media sharing but not so good for professional use. The portrait mode produced unnatural results. As far as video goes, the front camera can capture videos in 1080p resolution at up to 30 frames per second. There are two modes, macro video mode and movie frame mode. You don't get any options for slow motion or time-lapse photography. It has a large screen display, supports dual SIM cards, and offers memory capacity ranging from 2GB to 3GB. Like the POCO M5S, the device does not include support for 5G networks, but rather uses 4G technology. After some time organizing my apps and files, it seemed less cluttered. However, Xiaomi did not put any real effort into designing the user interface. For browsing, light games, and watching videos, found that this phone worked very nicely. It has a 5000 mAh battery and charges quickly at 18 watts, which comes with the device. From my experience, using this phone for several hours a day without having to charge it every evening. Even on heavy usage weekends takes quite some time for the battery to drain. Although the battery life is not great, it does charge quickly enough to make up for it. The phone can take a full day of heavy usage before needing to recharge again. That said, if you do plan on doing any serious gaming, then want to invest in a separate power bank instead. It's not a deal breaker, but it'll take some time to get used to having no power for charging devices.